Welcome to our channel Learning Math. In this video, we're going to learn about triangles, what are the properties of triangles, what are the natures of triangles, and how to construct them. Now, let's start together. Triangles, tri, means three, three what angles. As you see here, it has three angles. It also has three sides, in addition to the three vertices, which are the intersection of these sides. Each vertex, a vertex is the plural of vertex. Each vertex is a point having its name as a capital letter. The name of this triangle is taken from the names of its vertices. So here we name it the triangle ABC. The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. If we add the measures of these angles, we will get 180 degrees. Something else. Look at them. If we group these angles together, we will get here a straight angle which has the measure 180 degrees degrees. That's why we say the sum of angles in triangles is 180 degrees. Now let's start by the natures of triangles or types of triangles and we call it nature. The first one is in general the scalene triangle not required uh, but you should know that it has neither equal sides nor equal angles. The most important ones are the first one equilateral triangle. What's the meaning of equilateral triangle? Equi means equal, lateral means sides. Well, a triangle that has three equal sides is said to be an equilateral triangle. As you see, they have the same indication. It indicates that they should have the same length. Well, three equal sides, then it will have also three equal angles. Why is each one 60 degrees? We have just taken that the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. If we have three equal angles, isn't 180 degrees divided equally by them? So it's divided by three to give us 60 degrees for each angle. Now let's learn together how to construct an equilateral triangle here. For example, it has a side 5.6 cm. We start by the first side. We open the compass equal to this side. Then we put the needle of the compass at the first extremity to draw the first arc. Then we put it at the second extremity to draw the second arc. Now we just join uh, the intersection of these arcs to the extremities of the given side to get our equilateral triangle triangle. Well, the second nature of triangle is isosceles triangles. Isosceles triangles have two equal sides and two equal angles called base angles. As you see in the figure, the two sides are indicated equal. The vertex through which these two equal sides are issued is said to be the principal vertex. We say it's isosceles, for example, at A. Then A is the principal vertex. At the bottom of the equal sides, we will have two angles that are equal. They have the same measure. We call them the base angles since they are located at the base. If the first one, for example, is 50 degrees, the second one will have the same measure. Well, how to construct isosceles triangles? Well, we have a triangle of base 3 cm and side 5.6 cm. We have just learned that isosceles triangles have two equal sides. If the first side is 5.6 cm, shouldn't the second one be 5.6 cm? How to construct it? First, we start by drawing the base, as you see, 3 cm. Now we open the compass at 5.6 cm, the length of the first side. We draw the first arc. We keep on the same opening for the second side to be 5.6 cm also. We draw the second uh, arc. We can erase the exceeded uh, ones. Now we just join the intersection of these arcs with the extremities of the given side to get our isosceles triangle. Sure, we should put our measures on the figure. Here, the first side is 5.6 cm. The second one will be 5.6 cm. The base is 3 cm. The base angles that are equal since it's an isosceles triangle. Now, let's start by another kind of isosceles triangles, A, B, C, isosceles at A. Well, isosceles at A, so the base is B, C. This is very important. We have the length of the base, 4.7 cm. We have the angle ABC salient, which is 53 degrees. ABC, from its name, we have the base BC. 
Isn't this a base angle? It's located at the base, the angle A, B, C, Salem. What? If we have the first base angle is 53 degrees, shouldn't the second one have the same measure? Base angles in isosceles triangle are equal. So we can just start drawing the base as you see here. We draw the base. Now we draw the first base angle as you see. We put the protractor plus at the extremity. The line of the protractor should be aligned with the given straight line. We start counting from zero, which is located on the straight line. Below, we count below here till 50, 51, 52, 53. Now we just point it and join it with the extremity of the straight line. Now we put the protractor at the other extremity Y. The base angles are equal. The first one 53 degrees. We want the second one also 53 degrees. Sure, the plus of the protractor at the extremity, the line is aligned with the given straight line. We start counting from zero, which is located on the straight line here. It's above from zero till 53 degrees to get the same measure. Now we just point it and join it with the extremity, we can now erase the exceeded sides to get our isosceles triangle. As you see, we put the measures, the base 4.7 centimeter, the base angles are each 53 degrees. Even if they didn't tell us about, we should memorize the rule that base angles are equal, they should have the same measure. Also, if they aren't uh, telling us anything about the sides, we should indicate them as equal sides since it's isosceles triangle. Now, let's start together by right triangles as you see here we have a right angle 90 degrees triangles that have this right angle are said to be right triangles the side that faces the right angle is said to be hypotenuse this is very important how to construct right triangles as you see we uh, want to construct a right triangle pqr right at p means that the 90 degrees should be located at the vertex p we should have the sides pq 3 centimeter and pr is equal to 5.7 centimeter how to construct it let's start together sure we start by the base which is here uh, 5.7 centimeter now we put the set square exactly aligned to the given straight line the 90 degrees of the set square should be exactly at the extremity in order to draw the uh, first right angle after drawing it we just put the ruler we want the second side three centimeter we mark it at three centimeter now we join it with the extremity we can erase through the exceeded parts here is our right triangle pqr is right at p PR is 5.7 cm and PQ is 3 cm. Finally, right isosceles triangles. From their name, right isosceles, right has an angle 90 degrees. Isosceles has two equal sides and two equal angles each to 45 degrees here. Why? Let's learn it together. We have learned that sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. What? Sure, we have here 90 degrees, so the side facing this 90 degrees is said to be the hypotenuse. Uh, something else, if we have here 90 degrees, 180 degrees minus 90, what do we get? Isn't it 90 degrees? Why we have divided it by 2? The rest have the sum 90 degrees. They are equal to each other. If we divide 90 degrees by 2, what should be the measure of each one? 45 degrees. Well, how to construct right isosceles triangles? As you see here, the first example, construct a right isosceles triangle ABC, right angled at A. Well, such that AB is 4.3 cm, something very important. The triangle ABC is right isosceles at A. Right and also isosceles, so the equal sides should be issued from the vertex A. If the first side is AB equal to 4.3 cm, then the second one issued from A will be also 4.3 cm. How to construct it? Sure, we start by the first one, which is 4.3 cm. We get our set square aligned with the straight line. Now we can just draw 
the perpendicular to it as you see we mark the perpendicular by 90 degrees we should mark it at 4.3 centimeter now we can join them to get our right isosceles triangle we indicate the uh, two sides as equal to each other now we will construct a right isosceles triangle ABC such that its base is 4.9 cm. How to draw it if we have only the base? Right isosceles. Well, we have here the base, but we know the base angles should be 45 degrees each. So we can just draw the base, which is 4.9 centimeter then we draw the base angles the first one as you see we draw it 45 degrees between 40 and 50 we start from zero on the straight line the first base angle will be 45 degrees we join them and also the second should be 45 degrees we start counting sure from zero which is on the line now we just mark it at 45 degrees and we join them now we can erase the exceeded lines this is our right isosceles triangle. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe.